Hey guys, so this is the last training video for the Pricebook element of C-Store Pro. In this video, we're going to basically talk about all the reports that are available in C-Store Pro that come directly from your point of sale system. So the first report that you can basically look at is on your basic dashboard. This is a visual graphical indication of what your sales were for that time period. If you want to specify a particular time, you can always click here and run it for that specific time where the system will give you a breakdown of how much your sales are, non-merchandise sales, and then breakdown of your fuel. It also gives you your hourly trend, so it can allow you to basically, you know, hire the right resources at the store during the busy hour. So it's telling you that, you know what, my peak hour is around 5 p.m. and my lowest hour is obviously in, uh, you know, in the, in the evenings. So I can see when I want to open my store, when I want to close my store, and when I want to hire my employees. It also tells you your total tenders as well as the total number of transactions you had that day. In POS data, this is the raw data that comes to your register. The, the dashboard is pretty much the same as what we're looking at here. You can go into reports, you can run your Z report. This is basically your raw Z report data. So you run this report, it'll tell you your merchandise, gas, other incomes, pay in, taxes, collections, total in, cash, credit, deposit, and it also gives you your cash drops cash short over as well as your POS short over. So the cash short over is basically the cash collection minus the drops and the POS short over is the total in minus the total out. You can also run a department sales report for a particular time or a particular date or a particular day of month, right? So I can run this report and it'll tell me what my, for this time frame, what my total sales were, discounts, promotions, refunds, voids, and my net sales. And I can sort by department or by name or by net sales as well. Similarly, I can run it by day. So I can run this report and it'll give me a day by day breakdown for all my sales for each of my departments. I can export this report into Excel if I desire to do so. Uh, there's a really neat little report here that you can say day of week. So you can run it, you know, what your sales were on Monday, what your sales were on Sunday for this item, etc. So you can know when to restock these items or when they're moving the most and when to run promotions. You also have gas sales. So similar to the department sales, you can do gas sales report, which gives you a day by day breakdown. Uh, you can do it by date as well. You can get a report, uh, etc. So I'm not going to go too much into these reports, but you can see them all over here. Keep in mind that all these reports are, you can export them into Excel. If you want to run them by graph, you can run them in a graphical format as well. You also can get deeper in and you can see item level sales report. So you can run a report for, let's say for all your chips run the report. So the system will tell you what your chips you're selling. You can sort by your top selling chips and based on your margins, you can see what your profits are for each of those items. So you can get very detailed and start micromanaging over here. If you want to do it for your cigarettes, you can do it for your cigarettes. You can do even do it for a specific vendor. So if I come into the system and I say, I want to run my report for this vendor right here, I can run it for this vendor and I can see what my profit was for that month for this vendor based on my purchasing. Uh, there's also sales comparison. This is a really good tool. You can compare one week against another. So for example, let's say I go in here and I say I want to compare uh, my first week of February to my second week of February to see what my sales trends are. When I run this report, it'll tell me that you know my sales increased by this much. My difference was this much and you can see where they're increasing, where they're decreasing. You can also see the same numbers for your gas as well. This is a little bit small right now, I know on the screen, but when you look at it on your own screen, I'm pretty sure it'll look bigger. Now you can also do sales by the hour. So this is uh, another report that you can look at to just see basically what your average ticket size is, how many transactions you're incurring in that hour for that time frame. So again, you can run it for this month and you can see that your lowest, you know, ticket value, your average ticket size is about $3 or so, and you're not dipping below $3. There's one point in which you're actually uh, pretty low over here between 10 to 11, where you're only doing about $2.54 a ticket. So that's, you know, you can get into that much details, right? You can look at your inventory reports here as well. Run this report for your inventory, see what your current inventory is for your chips and this particular vendor, etc. right? or you can find it by the vendor as well. This is my current count for what my inventory is for this vendor. You can export this out 
Uh, you can also do it for inventory change by time. Uh, again, I can do it for my chips and run this report and it'll tell me what my opening was, what my sales were, what my purchase, any adjustments if I did any, or my closing inventory is. So those are all the reports. Uh, there is actually one more very important report that I want to show you guys. So if you have a point of sale system that's other than a simple plain old Ruby, you can actually get live sales tracking in the system. So you can actually see item level transactions that are happening. And at the bottom, you can see what your total sales are, what your grocery sales are, how many no sales, line voids, and refunds your employees are giving, as well as what your current gas inventory is. If you want to, let's say, for example, find all your line voids, you can come in here, type line voids, and see all your line voids that are happening in your store and which employee is doing them. You can also run this report for previous days if you wanted to and load the previous days as well and you can get transaction level history for those days. So that's it for the price book and inventory management. If you have any questions, uh, please feel free to call us at 281-265-2245 and we'll be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Thanks guys.